like a pig took a dump in my head. <laughs> I drank a lot of lemonade. And trust me, coming down from a sugar high is as bad as a hangover. Jeff, Jeff, just... Shh. I've made you. I can unmake you. Just let me rest. <laughs> okay. Right. <sighs> Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful time. I did. Uh, it was a lot of fun. And thought I'd open the year with a little bit of a book review for you all. Because one of the sad videos I'm doing while continuing to edit and finish writing my second book. So the book I thought I'd talk to you about is one that I really enjoyed and I got last Christmas um, from my future mother-in-law. And it's called the Shadow Magic Trilogy. Some of you would have seen it if you'd watched my uh, bookshelf tour video. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a copy of it to physically show you because I've lent it to my future little sister-in-law. And she's absolutely loving it. And I'm like, yeah, it's, I know it's so good. So I'm going to tell you lot why it's awesome. So, the Shadow Magic Trilogy follows the adventures of Connor and the friends that he makes along the journey as he gets whisked away to the mystical land of Tirana No, or Tirana Nog, however you want to pronounce it, I'm pretty sure it's No, uh, which is the land of the ancient Celts. Now, he was just a normal kid living with his dad, who only had one hand f from a lawnmower accident, uh, when suddenly a bunch of people on horseback burst into his house and kidnap them and whisk them off to Tirana No. There he finds out that his dad is the usurped heir to the throne of Tirana No, and he's a prince and everyone wants him dead because of some random prophecy. And as he goes along the journey, he has to defeat his evil uncle, quite Hamlet, uh, makes loads of new friends, and kind of goes on his way. And it's a very, very funny read. Like, Connor has a wonderful sense of humour. It's all written from his point of view. And you really get a sense of his character and the world that he's in. The description in this book is crisp. Like... Every page describing the the different lands that he goes to, each one it has its own unique feel and look, and you feel like you're there, and you want to go there on holiday. When I write things, I'm a very visual writer, and so I, when I describe characters, I like to describe them, like, every detail as much as I possibly can, so you get a really good image. I've read some books that only give you hair and eye colour and rough height, and that's it. And, and then you kind of put it together yourself, and uh, that's fine for some writers. I don't personally like it. In the Shadow Magic Trilogy, it's a decent balance between the two. And so you can very easily pitch all the characters, each one unique in their design, and you get to know them really well over the course of the book. The action is also really well described. It's quick, it's choppy, it, you can visualise it very clearly in your head. There's no like, oh, I did this fancy move that did such and such. It's like, no, I punched him in the face, blood went everywhere. Yay, me. So I have three issues with this book. Now, I cannot explain these three issues to you without major spoilers. You have been warned. Despite these three issues I have with it, I have really enjoyed the book. I would give it an 8 out of 10. It is one of my all-time favourites. These are just three little things that really griped me when I read it. I would strongly suggest you go read it because it is absolutely hilarious, a really fun, high fantasy adventure, and a very enjoyable read. The first thing that annoyed me was the end of the first book. How, after this incredible journey, and Connor had reunited his family, overthrown his uncle, saved everyone, his mum and dad were back together, so he finally had a happy family he was an immortal prince beloved by all and at the end of it he goes right i'm done bye everyone see you all later it just goes back to the real world he's like i miss shoes and tv and 
worldly comforts, even though my time here has been absolutely mind-blowingly incredible, and I fancy the pants off of this girl that I've met, and she actually fancies me back, and I've never given a second thought to my girlfriend back in the real world. Bye, see you all later. And it just didn't make sense from a character point of view to me. It was just like the worst decision you could make, and it wasn't justified enough for me. The second issue I had was, because of this, understandably, the woman that he has fallen in love with and has fallen in love with him from Children No is very upset and bitter by it. He is really hurt. He was fighting for affections the entire time because of things in the book they couldn't really get to. It was awkward and it was the whole like, oh, we don't really get on very well, but you know we're going to end up together in the end kind of situation. And then in the second book and third book, I just feel like she becomes a complete bitch. Not like, you know, the stern, badass warrior princess that she that she is. She just becomes a heartless bitch. And it was really annoying because she was one of my favourite characters. And then I started being like, do you know what? I don't want you and Connor to end up together. In fact, he meets another girl in the second book that dotes on him and he falls for her, even though he's still really awkward about the other girl. And I'm like, get with this new girl. Why be hung up on a girl who's now just become a complete cow? And then the third thing that annoys me about the book is the general ending. Like, it's some bits are slightly anticlimactic, some bits are done really, really well. The end chapter, the last chapter, is, you know, the resolution. All the loose ends are tied up, everything's sorted. And it, it's nice, it's, it's a good ending, but I was expecting more, I was wanting more. It was just a ca case of, oh, this and this happened, then this happened, and now I'm doing this, and everyone's happy ever after. The end. And it's like, really? I was expecting something something more. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you want to go and read this book now, because seriously, go read it. It's awesome, despite of those few issues. I'm going to go and carry on editing my book and get ready for the rest of this year, getting married and writing, editing and publishing a second novel. And uh, I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great new year. Gather round ye lads and lasses, set ye for a while And hearken to me mournful tale about the Emerald Isle Let's all raise our glasses high to friends and family gone And lift our voices in another Irish drinking song